they weren't treated like humans. That's just one of the stinging criticisms made by a committee of MPs who've investigated working practices at the Sports Direct warehouse in Derbyshire. Well, the owner, Mike Ashley, has said it's his policy to treat all his workers with respect and he's committed to addressing any shortcomings. Well, our reporter, Mike O'Sullivan, is in Shirebrook now at the firm's headquarters. Mike, you've been trying to talk to some of the workers today. What are they saying? Well, some simply hurrying into work this Friday afternoon and evening for their shift. Some saying it was a good place to work, but the concerns were raised by the Business Innovation and Skills Committee. Their investigation came about after concerns were highlighted by a union and parts of the media, including BBC Inside Out in the East Midlands. The six strikes and you're out policy, the disciplinary policy, 110 ambulances or paramedic cars called out here between January 2013, April 2016, 50 uh, classified as life-threatening cases. One worker even gave birth in a toilet. Clocking on at the Sports Direct warehouse in Shirebrook in Derbyshire. On the day, a report by a committee of MPs described some working conditions here as appalling. Many of the 3,500 agency workers are from Eastern Europe. I'm out all day. I drive to London every day. So it's a completely different scenario for us, I think. What have you heard about conditions in the warehouse? We don't really hear anything, to be honest. Is it bad to work there at all? Good. I'm here for working because I need the money for my uh, continual good living in these nationals. One of the concerns of the Business Innovation and Skills Committee was the six strikes and you're out policy operated here. For example, taking too long at a toilet break could count as a strike. The MP said it was punitive, denigrated the workforce and gave management excessive powers to discipline or dismiss at will. The report heard evidence from some workers. One said there were unsociable shifts at a poor wage with little or no breaks. Another said, whilst I was there, your pick from the Isles of Stock was timed to the second. If your pick was late, you got a strike. But when the Isles are full of other pickers, this is impossible to meet. We still had to suffer humiliation over the tannoy, with your name called out so that everybody knew. People can be given a strike for excessive toilet breaks or, or um, excessive chatting or um, being off work sick. This creates a system of presenteeism, so people come into work sick because they're scared. That means that they're a danger not only to themselves, but to other people. The report comes after the Sports Direct owner, Mike Ashley, gave evidence to the MPs in Westminster last month. In a statement today, Sports Direct said, it's our policy to treat all our people with dignity and respect. We're pleased to see the committee has recognized Mike Ashley's commitment to engage in addressing any shortcomings in the working practices at Sports Direct. We'll certainly hold his feet to the fire. We want to make sure that some of the things that he's promised that we touch upon in the report in terms of looking at the six strikes and your out policy, ensuring that people are paid more than the national minimum wage are implemented. Um, when he does well, we'll praise him. If he doesn't put in place those recommendations, we'll publicly criticise him. The report calls for Mike Ashley, Boltover Council, and the health and safety executive to review health and safety at the warehouse. And Mike, there's been an update tonight on the health and safety situation, hasn't there? That's right, Maurice. The health and safety executive tonight has said that they'll be contacting Bolsover District Council to discuss how to support them in making sure that the health and safety provision is correctly adhered to here at uh, Sports Direct. Now, that is important because health and safety is a local council matter in warehouses, not the health and safety executive, but now they're, they're appearing to get that sort of backup. Bolsover District Council say they haven't had a chance to look at the, uh, the findings of the report yet, and officers will discuss it next week. One for us to watch. Mike in Shirebrook, first, thank you very much.